Halala Halt, Halala. Today I choose to honor you with an ancient Corsa greeting, reserved for victors, warriors fatigued by battle, wizened by their search for new lands and new challenges. Over our summer term, I've been fortunate enough to circumnavigate the globe twice. 47,593 miles in search for unique learning opportunities. And I know that many of you have done exactly the same. So for this poignant look back at our watershed year, I do hope Professor Gitchin casts a blind eye to the enormous carbon footprint left by the class of 2024 in their search for brilliance. I know I haven't planted my forest yet, but I learned a trick or two by planting some rice in Vietnam. As we stand on the threshold for this new chapter in our lives, I'm reminded by a quote by the famous philosopher Seneca, who said, it is not that we have but a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. This reminds us that time is the most democratic of all resources, something we each possess in equal measure. And yet, it is how we use it that sets us apart. You see, we all entered this program with one shared resource, time. And as we have learned, time can be both a formidable foe, but also a generous ally, if, and only if, you use it wisely. Over the past year, we have juggled deadlines, exams, group projects, and shed many tears. Yet, we have learned that the true value of time is not how much we have of it, but how we choose to spend it. And so now, how do we make sure that the time ahead of us actually enriches our lives, fuels our ambitions, and drives our passions? Well, allow me to share a simple framework. While time can be linear and relentless, our approach to it doesn't have to be. You see, the thing about T-I-M-E is that it is not the ticking of the clock or the thumping of my heart as I stand up here. It is, however, an approach to life that I believe can actually lead us to make the most of the moments ahead. T is for train. We've all experienced the rigor of training our bodies, minds, and spirits over the last year. Think back to those endless case studies, the marathon times of study, and the hours spent refining your ideas. Well, training is more than just preparation. Training is also about continuous growth. The I is for introspect. Often we're told to set goals, but I challenge you to set standards. Goals are mere destinations, but standards instead define who you are every single day. Regular introspection will allow you to assess whether you are living up to those expectations. M is for movement. Movement is the very essence of life. When overthinking rips you into immobility, or many different conflicting thoughts stun you into confusion. It is not standing still, but movement that is the answer. And you're all here today as proof of that. And may I say, looking absolutely fabulous, very demure, very cutesy. <laughs> Why? Because stagnation is a close bedfellow to irrelevance. So whether you're changing careers or starting a new project or simply making time for that morning run, keep the tempo of your life dynamic. E is for exposure. Now I'm not talking about cold water swimming or ice plunges, though if you're into that type of biohacking, go for it. I'm talking about broadening your horizons, stepping outside of the comfort zone. Sometimes in the pursuit for success, we lose sight of the things that matter the most. For me, this MBA journey has been about looking for what I find joy in. It has reminded me about the things that I love very most. Exposure keeps you curious, and curiosity keeps you alive. 
as we move forward, don't just limit yourself to the vision you had of who you are when you started this journey. Break those boundaries and step into the unknown. I leave you with a quote by Arthur Schopenhauer. Most people take the limits of their vision to be the limits of the world. A few do not join them. Class of 2024, let us be those few. Break through the limits of your vision, make an impact on the world. Congratulations to all of you and a massive thank you to all of those who have supported us on this journey. May the steps that we are yet to take be as rewarding as those we walked together. Thank you.